Hello everyone, we're gonna do something different today. We're gonna be doing uh, Blinky Bill and the, I think it's the Ghost Cave? It's an interesting name. Um, and uh, I used to watch a little Blinky Bill when I was a kid and uh, <laughs> I actually know most of the soundtrack of the movie off by heart just because it's a uh, very catchy soundtrack. I sure do love that country girl. What? No, I didn't. I'll stop. I won't. I won't. Uh, go Hello into the there. Welcome to Green Patch, home of Blinkyville. I'm Mr. Wombat. Oh, hi, Wombat. This is my house. You'll find all sorts of games here. That, oh, and that's if nice. ever you need some help, just click on me. Oh. Everyone loves to finger Wombo. I mean, uh, finger Wombo. And can Wombat. I suggest the first thing you do oh. is click on the open book. And enjoy the ghost cave story. Oh. Okay. Click on this. Okay, thanks, Wombo. Ah. Well. Click on this and you can play along with the story. Damn right I will. Blinky Bill and the gang were surprised to see Mr. Rabbit sitting outside his burrow in his rocking chair. What are you doing out here, Mr. Rabbit? You're not Blinky. Mr. Rabbit. There's no room for You're me inside. Too huge. Said Mr. Rabbit crossly. No room. I'll have a look. Said Blinky, and he went in. Oh, oh, I know the song for this. <laughs> Using the mouse, click around the page to find hidden surprises. To turn the page, move the pointer to the bottom right-hand corner of the page oh. and click when you see the hand. Oh, that's interesting. So, yeah, it looks like they're kind of doing, like, the living books thing. Ooh. And I can tell you, there's gonna be a whole heap of babies in there. Is it tall enough for me, Blinky? No, no. Those poor rabbits. It must be uncomfortable for them inside. Yes. If only they stopped breeding. There must be enough room for a mouse. Yo, why don't you go in, Marcia? Uh, flap. <laughs> flap! How very rude. Well, Mr. Rabbit doesn't seem to care. Yep. Well, oh, I'll see ya. Okay. Wow, keeps all these suitcases outside. Who knows why? Yep. We'll need another child or two. Oh, because this dude wanted to have a rabbit football team. Even though he had enough children for that already, but you know, that's just what the, the movie had stated. Inside the burrow, Jesus it was a very tight fit. It's all these children, said Mrs. Rabbit. Someone's always falling out of bed. Oops. There they go again. I know. Said Blinky. We'll find you a new place to live. Like a ghost cave? Well, that was exciting. I like that some of these rabbits are wearing clothes and some are aren't. What? Eddie and Teddy and Freddy and Bill, Polly, Molly, Dolly, Paul. We had babies wall to wall. Good God, the lyrics are just popping into my head. Oh, oh that, that, oh, that shouldn't be making that noise. The bottle's haunted. She's a good sister. Mmm, delicious. Mmm, delicious. Oh. He 
thinks is the cool kid. We need a much bigger place to live. Like a ghost cave? Swoosh. What do you think, Billy? B Billy. <laughs> Sorry, Blinky. Do you go back the other way if I put my hand over here? Or... No, just forward. Next morning, Blinky and the gang went down to the lake. They were looking for somewhere for the rabbits to live. Everyone they met wanted to help find them a new home. Like this bird in the tree. Would they like to live in a tree like me? No, they would not. I don't think so. <laughs> Would they like to live on a log like a frog? No, no. and they certainly Probably wouldn't want to <laughs> sing underwater. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's going to be like one person out there that's going to get that reference. But, uh, again, it's all to do with the stupid movie and all Maybe those lyrics. Maybe the rabbits would like to live here. No. We won't find anything here. Thank you, Marcia. Well, I think it's top to live on the hop. Splodge, that just sounds like a drug. Would they wish to live in a pond like fish? No. Probably not. <laughs> now, at this point, some of you might be realizing that they all kind of sound the same. Um, all the characters. Uh, because literally, there are only two voice actors to any Yoram Gross uh, animation. It's uh, Robin Moore and... Oh, what's the guy's name? I know it's Guy something? Like, his name is actually Guy. Uh, but, uh... We must find somewhere that is best for the rabbits. They do pretty well considering they're the only two voice There's actors. There's gotta be a place that has enough space. Yes, Flap. Suicided. Not far from the lake, they found a cave in the rocks. Like a ghost cave? You think this'll do? Asked Splodge. It's awfully dark, said Nutsy, doubtfully, peering in. Oh look! Come on, Blinky's Marcia. got a rope. Have a look, said Blinky, tying a rope around Marcia's waist. You know how you just tie ropes around your friends' waists? Sugar glider. You're the bravest, Marcia. Yeah, when someone else ropes you into it, literally. Okay, Flap. Nice. Good to see the medication's working. Uh, what's the point of that, Blinky? Okay, that was a nifty skill. Why is it always me that has to do these things? Because you're tiny. Hold on tight, Blinky. Yeah, through this loop that doesn't quite fit Marcia. <laughs> And he's dead. Oh, he's back. Okay. All right, let's check out the next page of the. It was cave. very dark inside the cave. And Marcia hadn't gone far when she heard a groan. Help! Yelled Marcia. There's ghosts in here. Oh, don't be silly. Said Blinky. There's no such thing as ghosts. How do we even have concepts of ghosts? But there are spiders that play beautiful music. There are backs. Now, just imagine that was the new soundtrack of any Batman theme. Bats, bats, we're bats. 
bats. Oh, I'm so scared. If you flap. Are you sure it's safe, Blinky? There's nothing to be scared of, Marcia. That sound just amuses me. Despite oh. Marsha's fears, Blinky told the rabbit family about the cave. And the next day, the gang all helped the rabbits carry their furniture. Nazi just the carries bush. one rabbit, that's it. Each little rabbit helped carry something. Mr. Rabbit carried his rocking chair. Well, that's good because everyone loves a good rocking chair. Oh. Whew. Oh. Let's not ask where she got all those from. Well, he had fun. Oh, poor little bunny. It, it is, it's the same tune again. It's um, country girls. Butterflies and long blonde girls. There ain't no girls like country girls. There's country girls for me. Some long blonde girls, there ain't no girls like country girls, there's country girls for me. Come on, everyone, the cave's this way. Don't ask me why, you know, a whole heap of animals would be interested in, um, oh, uh, in little girls that are country girls, but uh, apparently that's just that they spend like several minutes uh, singing that song in the movie, so what about you? Okay. Gotta check the babe. Oh! I do some juggling with my uh, pots and shits. Okay, next page. Mr. Rabbit was delighted with the cave. Oh. He took his chair inside and sat down to scrape the carrots for dinner. Well, Mrs. Rabbit he, he was sweeping the care. floor when she heard a groan. What was that? She asked. The previous tenant. This is a great book. The, that, that's great, son. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Yep. Forks? <laughs> Forks? Knives? Spoons? Nothing. No one cares about spoons. <laughs> Stop being a jerk, kid. Uh, okay. I thought I heard something. Maybe it's my ovaries having more children again. Oh, he's a talented one. Nope. They could all be part of a band, these ones. Forget the rabbit football team. Dun, 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 dun. Yep. Popping out of their bed now. Oh, oh. No. Adorable. Oh boy, I love carrots. <laughs> oh boy. Um, we're gonna cut it here for this first episode, and um, we'll come back next time with more Blinky Bill and the Ghost Cave. Ghost cave.